Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May, 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have such an important sky for you. It really is a standout month. It is going to be one where at least one other person comes into focus and becomes that much more important for you. And you add to this a full moon in your sign. This is your full moon for the year, and it is going to be a time when emotions come to the surface, but also a meaningful realization. A matter near and dear to your heart comes to fruition in a way that you love very much. So let's start with early this month. This month's new moon happens right around the fourth, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. And it is one of the more harmonious new moons that I have seen in a while. It will be speaking in supreme harmony with your modern ruling planet Pluto and Saturn and will be speaking in harmony with Neptune as well. Now this new moon is happening in your opposite sign and as I said this is very much about partnering with other people. It is one other person coming into focus but it doesn't mean that it has to exclusively be one person. It is about meeting new people, aligning with new people, whether for professional reasons, uh, personally as well. And it is about these new people coming in who have uh, the potential to transform your circumstances in very practical ways for a long time to come. Of course, if I'm talking about partnership, I have to talk about love. I'm not going to save that right to the end because yes, this speaks to partnership of all kinds. Business partnerships and alliances are covered here, but absolutely romantic partnerships are covered as well. And all of this is going to be so important for you this month with all the new people that you will be meeting. For some, it is a sense of a fresh start where it comes to the partnerships that they already have. And for others, there may be a sense of a partnership coming to a close, but it's in a way that allows you a fresh start, in a way that empowers you and excites you about the possibilities ahead. For others still, this is going to be a very romantic time and for others, a successful time, but very likely it'll be a little bit of both for most Scorpios out there. Now, it isn't just about this new moon and it isn't just about an isolated moment, but rather what happens over the course of this month allows the energy of the new moon to be extended throughout this month, ensuring that you are tapping into it and magnifying its blessings because it is a new moon of absolute blessings. First, we are going to have a few days after the new moon, Mercury moving into the same part of the sky and very quickly connecting with Uranus in the sky. Mid-month, Venus will move into this part of the sky and very quickly connect with Uranus as well. And all of this says that things could move very quickly, very much by surprise, very much by delight, but it is ultimately the people that you are aligned with who are going to be part of helping to take your life into the future, part of leaping your life forward. And the connections that you make now have the potential to stick around for a very long time to come. So as I said, business partnerships are covered here, but I'm going to talk about love now because romantic partnerships are very strongly indicated when we have such important lunar activity in your opposite sign. It means that someone new is there. Someone does present themselves. There is action that takes place in your established bond as well, because it is about you understanding who you are in relation to another. As I like to say, to see yourself differently as reflected in the eyes of another. But what you see now is going to be an epiphany. It is going to facilitate a revolution in your spirit. And this is about another person awakening you in ways that lead you on a whole new path, very different than what you have known before. 
So for those of you open to meeting someone new, this is one of the strongest indications this month that you would connect with someone new. If you connect with this person in the second half of the month, you're tapping more into that Venusian energy. You're tapping into an energy that says the people you connect with have the potential to stay around for a long time. There's real long-term potential there. However, for those of you who connect with someone in the days around the new moon, there's also that long-term potential there as well, thanks to the harmonious connection of Saturn. And this would be a connection that you would likely feel very strongly as well. Now, for those of you getting to know someone, if you're dating someone, the activation of Neptune becomes that much more important at the new moon. But again, chances are, if this is someone where you feel like something more could develop, that will be revealed very quickly in very surprising moments. However, if this is someone that may not be the one for you, that will be revealed as well. And you'll be able to make clean breaks as part of being open to someone new. And if it is that you are in an established bond, what a powerful time for those of you in an established bond, because it is going to feel like a redefinition is occurring and that the two of you are starting fresh in a meaningful way. Once Venus moves into your opposite sign, it makes your partner that much sweeter, makes it that much easier to stay connected and to feel the love between the two of you. Now, as we navigate towards the later part of the month, right around the 18th is when we are going to have a full moon in your sign. This is going to be an important turning point for you, not only for the month, but for the year. This is gonna allow you a sense of fruition and a sense of closure on a matter near and dear to your heart. But more importantly, I think in the context of this month, it's gonna allow you to get really honest with yourself about what you feel about a particular situation. It's like seeing a situation differently as reflected in the light of the clear full moon. There is something powerful that happens when you reach that place of clarity and that place of truth within you. Whom is it that you really are? What is it that matters to you most and what matters to you first? What do you want in your heart of hearts? Now, yes, it is often love and romance and relationships that show us something of what our heart wants, but there is a sense of an all-encompassing energy at this time where you are looking at your life uh, differently than you have and considering your options and considering where it is that you've compromised too much very differently than you have allowed yourself to recently. And that is because this full moon will be standing across the sky from Mercury, but also speaking in harmony with Pluto as well. And so there is that sense of looking at the compromises that are being made now, what's worth the compromise, what is it? You're thinking also about where it is that you've aligned with people, where it's been healthy alliances and where it isn't. And there's a sense now of being able to speak about things that otherwise might be challenging, otherwise might be difficult, so that you can get on the same page with another person, so that you can understand what it is that needs to be negotiated or what it needs to be agreed to in order for you to feel that you're either gonna move forward with this person or not. Now again, this could be a professional alliance, absolutely. It can be with a month like this that you attract real power players into your life that have the potential to leap your life forward, that have the potential to change your life in profound ways. But it is also possible that a lot of this energy is gonna play out in the context of love. There's a lot of romantic energy this month. There's a lot of creative energy as well. And they're gonna work really well together. But one thing is for sure, with a month like this, it is ultimately leading you to your truth, the truth of who you truly are. And once you connect with that, it's gonna make all of your interactions and all of your connections and partnerships that much more clear to understand, but also that much more empowering as well. What I love about this month for you is that really it is very straightforward. It is very much about who it is that you know yourself to be. And it is very much about a mirror being in front of you, you looking in a mirror based on the people that you've attracted into your life. Where it is that relationships and partnerships need refinement, you'll be willing to do that work. And where it is that you 
are ready to start anew, to start fresh, to be open to new alliances, they will present themselves to you as well. And in the process, you will realize that really this journey through life is so much richer when we share it with others. Whether it is in friendship or in creativity or in love or in fun, you will find a way to know others and you will be changed by others in ways that I think you will love about yourself very much. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.